everyone, welcome to DMFA Digital Marketing for Asia. My name is Joanna and I am a marketing manager working here at SoftBank Telecom Europe. In today's video, we are going to talk about the most popular social media platforms in Japan. But before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to our DMFA channel if you haven't done so already. And tell me what is your favorite social media platform? I think that my favorite is probably... Um, it's probably Instagram. Leave me a comment down below. I really want to know. Are you ready? Let's go. Before we move on to discussing which social media platform is currently the most popular in Japan, let's have a look at the Japanese internet users. As of January of 2023, Japan's population is 125 and a half million people. And... 115 million of them are internet users, which makes up to 92% of the total population. In terms of social media, it is estimated that just over 100 million people use social media, coming up to 81% of total population. In terms of the most popular platforms, we have LinkedIn with 3 million users, Pinterest with 9 million users, TikTok with 18 million users, Instagram with 49 million users, Facebook with 57 million users, Twitter with 59 million users, Line with 94 million users, and YouTube with 102 million users. So let's discuss five of the most popular platforms in a little bit more detail, starting from the fifth place, which is the Instagram. Instagram has gained popularity in Japan thanks to its very user-friendly interface, potential anonymity, and highly visual content. Over the recent years, Instagram has truly expanded beyond the classic popular categories like beauty, fashion, travel, or food, to include interest groups such as gaming, wellness, or even social justice. As a result, brands that have initially heavily invested in advertising on let's say Facebook have shifted their budget towards Instagram and with Instagram's new features such as short form videos, Instagram Reels, IGTV and Stories, the platform keeps being very relevant by providing candid glimpses into real life situations and behind the scene moments for both people and brands. connected to Instagram in number four we've got Facebook I really like to explain Facebook as the LinkedIn of Japan LinkedIn on its own is not very popular it only has around 3 million users in Japan Facebook is the preferred platform for those who are seeking to grow their business and engage on more professional level it is commonly used by senior level professionals and there is high number of like business pages however facebook's success in japan has been limited in many other aspects uh, with a smaller overall user base than in other markets as well as a decreasing youth demographic there are several theories on why facebook failed in japan firstly facebook's real name policy made it a little bit difficult for the Japanese users to fully embrace the platform. I think that the Japanese internet users frequently really like be having the possibility of staying anonymous on the internet and people were concerned about the privacy invasion and prefer to participate in online conversations anonymously. Additionally, Facebook made it very easy for older acquaintances, colleagues, or even bosses to add you as a friend and have a look into your after work life. It is a little bit difficult to maybe decline an invitation from your senior. So yeah, it just creates a very awkward situation where, you know, you can't really decline an invitation from your boss without being a little bit rude. Uh, but then it limits your freedom of of what you can post and how can you engage with like your friends as the boss is you know always looking at the content you're publishing so it created like a little bit of a an awkward situation 
people usually use uh, social media platforms to have the freedom of expression, which seem to be a little bit limited with your business connections, seeing what you're up to after work. Also, there is lots of other platforms that meet the needs of the Japanese users a little bit better than Facebook, which also may have contributed to Facebook's limited success. In the third place, we've got Twitter. Twitter is hugely popular in Japan and it is actually the second largest market for Twitter right after the US. And one interesting fact is that, yeah, Twitter is most, more popular than Facebook in Japan, which is completely opposite to the global trend. Usually around the world, Facebook tends to be more popular than Twitter. And there are a few likely reasons for this. So first of all, Twitter allows for more user anonymity. And as I already mentioned, Japanese inter internet users really value the possibility of being anonymous on the internet as it allows them to share their real opinions and their real thoughts more easily without the fear of being judged. 45% of users prefer to be anonymous on social media, according uh, to data from GWI. Twitter also provides a very vibrant ecosystem of interactions and the millions of tweets go out every day from all sorts of users. Another reason for Twitter's popularity in Japan may be the fact that Japan is highly urbanized with over 92% of the population living in cities and urban areas. Many Japanese people spend a significant amount of time on public transport between the office or school and apps like Twitter that offer bite-sized chunks of content are incredibly convenient for the people that are constantly on the go. In the second place, we've got Line. Line's popularity in Japan is massive and it has become much more than a simple messenger app over the recent years. So the platform was first developed during the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. During this time, many phone lines were down, like the infrastructure was completely destroyed by the tragic earthquake. And line was developed as this kind of like a emergency measure so people could, you know, stay connected and communicate with each other. And it used, rather than the traditional phone line infrastructure, it used the 3G connectivity. Basically, it used the internet. Since then, line has truly become an integral part of life in Japan. And many people use it to stay connected with friends and family, as well as access a wide range of services and features, covering almost 75% of Japan's population and a huge demographic from people in their teens to those over 65 years old. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic has further highlighted the importance of LINE in Japan as many people turn to the platform for virtual communication and to stay connected to others during the long periods of lockdown and isolation. LINE's evolution from a simple messenger app to an all-encompassing hub for serving users' digital needs has been a key to its success. The platform now offers a range of features and services that appeal to a wide variety of users, including classic social media features, news sections, cashless payment functionality, and the popular manga service. This broadening of its offerings has made Line an attractive platform for businesses and brands looking to reach Japanese consumers. With its large user base and diverse range of services, the platform offers many opportunities for brands to engage with their target audience and build meaningful relationships. And in the first place, we have YouTube. Yes, YouTube. YouTube is the most popular platform in Japan. And while it is not a classic social media per se, I think we can include it in this ranking. YouTube's popularity has been growing steadily over the past few years, and it has now become the top social media channel in the country. While it is not a classic social media platform, 
many households in Japan tend to use YouTube as a substitute for TV, for example. And it has made it a highly important platform for brands looking to connect with local audiences. One of the reasons YouTube is so popular in Japan is the fact that it offers a very diverse content that's available on the platform. From music videos and anime clips to cooking shows and gaming streams, there is literally something for everybody on YouTube. Additionally, the platform's algorithm is very good at recommending new content based on users' interests or previous watch history, which really keeps uh, users engaged and they keep coming for more content. Another factor that have contributed to YouTube's very huge popularity in Japan is the fact that it is the sense of community that the platform fosters. Many users are drawn to the micro communities they create around certain channels and they truly enjoy inter interacting with each other and interacting with people who share the same interests. Additionally, user-generated content and live TV adds to the platform's appeal, giving users a sense of ownership and participation in content they consume. to mention TikTok. Uh, I said at the beginning of the video that it has around 18 million users in Japan. However, what's important to note here is the fact that TikTok does not track users who are younger than 18 years old, which makes me believe that the real number of TikTok users in Japan is much, much higher than just 18 million. And TikTok's popularity, um, just like in any other country around the world is constantly growing in Japan. TikTok obviously has a very user-friendly interface and its bite-sized content is what Japanese people really resonate with. TikTok is focused on trends and video-first approach, which is only contributing to its popularity. As we know, TikTok is built around short 15 or 30 60 second videos representing a long term trend towards the user generated video content. And while some older users or brands have been very reluctant with accepting, especially at the beginning, seeing it as something very different from what they've been used to for many, many years, or maybe believing its popularity to be very fleeting or very, you know, time limited believe that making investment of time or resources into TikTok is not worth it. But I think this trend is slowly starting to change in Japan. With TikTok's continued success and massive spread around the world, and even, you know, TikTok-style features spreading to other platforms, for example, um, with Instagram releasing the Reels and YouTube with the YouTube Shorts. I think brands and people start to realize that it really holds a true marketing power. There is more and more users willing to migrate to the platform, uh, even among the older generations. We've seen many brands that have been very successful at marketing their products or services on TikTok and going absolutely viral thanks to their TikTok marketing strategy. Marketers will need to adapt their processes and content to fit um, to TikTok's unique style. And TikTok influencer marketing is a very powerful way to reach a huge audience. To finish this video off, let me go over a few trends that we may expect to happen in Japan in 2023, the future trend predictions. First of all, the brand content is becoming more and more lifestyle focused due to quite low interactions with just simply branded content in Japan. Brands need to find more ways to appeal to the audience to broader motivations and ideals of Japanese consumers. Secondly, older demographics of users are starting to be more targeted through social media platforms with much larger proportion of seniors using social media platforms like Facebook since the start of the pandemic. As Japan has an aging population, 
with high disposable income among older groups. Dedicated campaigns for older demographics are becoming more and more prominent. Thirdly, influencers and high-profile individuals play larger roles in spreading the information and boosting uh, the marketing campaigns. Trust in the opinions and endorsements of products and services um, by influencers on platforms like YouTube or Instagram are quite high. And leveraging their credibility is crucial for brands to get noticed. Finally, the Japanese social media platforms continue to be a primary source for news and immediate answers, especially for topics such as geopolitical conflicts as the, and the pandemic due to the country's distrust in organizations. At DMFA, Digital Marketing for Asia, as a part of the SoftBank family, we provide comprehensive digital marketing support across all major social media platforms in Japan. If you're interested in running digital marketing campaigns or learning more about contactless payment solutions, make sure to get in touch with us. Uh, as usual, I will leave the link to the contact form in the description down below. If you want to know more about LINE in general, as well as how to use line official account i'm going to put a link to our other videos somewhere here on the screen so make sure to check them out and yeah i think that is it for today i hope you could learn something new about how the social media landscape in japan looks like in 2023 as usual, don't forget to subscribe to our DMFA channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and put on the notification bell. We post new videos every Monday and yeah, that's it for today. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon in the next one. Bye!